Hey folks, it's Braden here again, and I've got another sketchy question. Today's is a file somebody sent in, and they said, I'm new to SketchUp, and I'm trying to create a 3D ellipsoid with a circular stair around it for a model. I can create the ellipsoid, but not the 3D spiral component attached around it from bottom to top. So this is the file that they sent, and they've got a pretty neat looking shape here so far. And if we zoom in, we can see that they've got the sort of the spiral that goes around this shape. And I guess that would be the path that the sort of stair needs to follow along. And they also sent a uh, image with sort of get an idea of what they're trying to do. Okay, so I tried this once before and seem to get it to work and I'm only gonna record this once so bear with me yeah we'll more than likely make mistakes but sometimes those are good to see too so uh, first off here I am going to I'll turn off hidden geometry to make it easier to select this whole thing. Uh, usually I like to make copies of things so that if I break it I have the original so we'll just make it a component and keep it off to the side for safekeeping. Actually I think let's hide it. So with this original one we can explode it again and okay so maybe briefly here I'll just go over what my plan is I will try to isolate this line you see right now it's in all these tiny little segments and that's just fine but it's sort of hard to work with so because I know I have that copy I'm just gonna start kinda removing extra geometry here that needs to go. There's some kind of little faces over here. And then there is this ring here. Okay, so here's a quick tip whenever you triple click something, and in this case, I was trying to just select that circle, but because it's attached to these other lines, it selected the whole thing, which is what it's supposed to do. So the quick tip would be to zoom in and just delete where it's intersecting the line you want to keep. Now if I triple click, I can get just the part that I wanted. So now that I have isolated my spiral, I'm going to do the uh, same thing again here. Make a component. Components are pretty cheap. In fact, they're free, so why not be safe here? Let's hide that one as well for now. Okay, so I've got my path that I need to follow, but it's still in all these little tiny segments. And so a really useful plugin I've used in the path, past is called Weld, and to get that, I will have to type sort of one-handedly here. SketchUp Weld. Uh, it comes from Smustard. It is a free plugin, so if we download it, we get our little save dialog box here, and you have to save it. It's a Ruby script file. You have to save it in the correct place, so. For Windows 7, that's uh, your local disk, program files, x86, Google, Google SketchUp 8, plugins, and there's a few other default plugins in there, so we'll save that in there. And it's a quick file, a small file, so it downloads quick, is what I meant to say. Um, so now, you have to restart SketchUp to 
get the plugin to activate. So I will close SketchUp. Maybe later I'll share that bad boy. I will open my file again, and now you'll notice that on the toolbar I have a plugins menu, and now we have our weld tool. So what I want to do is double click so I can edit this component and I want to select all these lines and I will weld them. So what weld does is kind of joins them all together into one big piece and that's pretty important. Um, well, you know what, how about before I do that I'll show you why it's important. So I will not weld it yet. Let's edit, unhide, all. Okay, so I need a profile to sweep along this path and let's make that. So I need this to be along the green axis here. Uh, you gotta forgive me, I'm trying to do this one-handedly for reasons that aren't worth mentioning. Okay, so it's way too big, but uh, it'll work for now. Okay, so line, let's zoom in here. I don't think we need a very large profile, so something like that, and then an arc shape. I'm gonna hover over this flat line here because my arc is trying to snap to things that are unwanted. So if I hover over that line and then hold the shift key down, it kind of snaps to that plane. And then when it turns the uh, cyan color, that means it's tangent. So that's good. Now I can delete that extra line that I didn't really need. Okay, so this is the profile that I'm going to use. Let's pull it off of there and bring it onto our there we go okay so here is the technique that we do we right click the component and we explode it and before you click off See how the all the segments are selected right now? That's what we want. You don't want to click anything else. You can orbit or something, but don't click away or else you'll lose that selection. And then we need to use the follow me tool, which is not on my toolbar, so it's there. So the way the follow me tool works is you select the path, you activate the tool, and then you select the face that you want to extrude, and there we go. So we have a spiral sort of sweeping around with the shape, but it's in all these little individual segments, and you can go through and like manually clean things up, but it's uh, too much work for me, apparently. So here's maybe a better way to do it. So I'll undo a few steps. Uh, I'll undo one more until we get back to our component. So now I'll edit the component, select all these lines. Now I'm going to weld them. Do we want to close the curve? No. Find faces for the curve? No. You guys can check out what those do on your own. So now if I click anywhere along this line it's one piece. It's welded together which is what we want. So we'll do that same technique again just with the line welded. So we explode the component and while it's selected we can use our follow me tool. We click on that face and there we go. At least it's smooth now, and it's not, um, it's all in one piece. I think it's a better product. So that's good. And 
to get our reference again here. So we kind of did one of these spirals, and looks like we need maybe, I don't know, three or four or so. However many your project needs. So to do that, now I will select this new geometry. I'm going to make that a component too, actually. Why not? It's always good to make components. Okay, so let's select that. We will use our rotate command. I'm going to lock it to that green axis there. And then uh, I don't have a very good view. Let me move it over a little bit here. Okay, snap to the green. I will click the origin. And if I press the control key, I get the little plus sign indicating I'm going to make a copy. So I'm going to go around, let's see, what's a good number? Uh, I don't know. Let's try 60 degrees. So if you look in the lower right corner, you can type 60 degrees, press enter, and it does that. Now without clicking anything else, let's check out what we've got. Maybe we need even more than 60. Let's try, I don't know, 75. So that's good, but we need more than one. So let's try again without clicking or doing anything else. If you type 3x, you can add a few copies of this thing. Okay, so we've made it almost all the way around. It looks like we need actually four copies. So I'll type 4x. Now as long as you don't click away, you can keep typing different things until you get what you want. So there we go, we have a sort of extruded shape uh, following along this uh, ellipsoid path, is the way you call it, so that's pretty cool. And there we have it, and if we want we can always move this back into place. Ooh, actually, can I do that either? I don't know if that snapped to the correct thing. No, obviously I didn't. Let's undo. So, what's going to be a good way? If I grab that point there, which is a known point on uh, both of these components, I believe it should snap to right I'm gonna zoom way in here folks okay there we go so now we have hopefully that's what you're looking for if not no big deal maybe this will help somebody else out and uh, figure out how to get what you need to work you know, I haven't tried it with any other shape profiles, so that would be a fun experiment as well. But maybe for another day. Alright, so that's a long video, but I hope it helped. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.